For the first and the final parts of the presentation, I used a program called Camtasia, which is a software suite uh, recording videos, but also um, through a lot of different, different uh, applications, allowing you to um, combine images, audio files uh, with um, videos. Uh, the overall design of Camtasia might look a little bit intimidating, but it's actually relatively straightforward and doesn't require uh, any advanced editing skills. So if you want to publicize your videos or if you want to make them more professional, this is definitely a program uh, to go for. Uh, you'll have to pay a one-off payment and then pay for the updates if you are interested in having an up-to-date version. So let's talk about what is Flipped Classroom. Let's watch together a short video. This is a classroom. The teacher stands at the front and the students watch and listen. You'll recognize this because it's probably how you were taught and how your parents were taught before you. But there are a lot of problems with this approach to teaching. You see, not all students learn at the same speed, so some get left behind. And while some students learn better by listening, others may learn better by doing. This means that teachers can't always do the best job they can. But there is another way. The flipped classroom addresses these problems and makes learning more personal. First, the teacher makes a video that delivers the content they'd usually teach in class. Then they share it online with students who can watch it before the next lesson. This leaves the teacher free to spend class time leading activities that help students apply the knowledge. Students can rewind and re-watch a video as many times as they like and come back to class with questions for the teacher. So keeping up with the class is no longer an issue. Students can access the video at any time using mobile devices, giving them the ability to learn more independently. Instead of sitting and listening, students can spend class time applying knowledge in more practical ways. And teachers are free to spend their time working with students and giving them individual support and attention. The flipped classroom model is already making a difference to students and teachers worldwide. So get involved. Discover more at flippedinstitute.org and become part of the movement. There are a lot of misconceptions around uh, this topic. Uh, some people confuse flipped classroom um, with a flipped learning uh, concept. Flipped classroom is more of an instructional strategy which leads uh, to flipped learning, um, a broader concept, more of a pedagogical approach. And uh, some uh, people think that flipped classroom is only about uh, watching videos recorded by teachers. It's not. The students can listen to podcasts, uh, they can read articles, uh, they uh, can do projects or carry, carry out uh, their own research uh, at home. The concept uh, goes back to 1990, uh, when a Harvard physicist, Eric Mazur, developed a concept of peer instructions. As uh, uh, you see in the model, first question is posed by a lecturer, and students uh, reflect on it by reading and doing research. Then uh, they come up with their own individual answers, which are reviewed by the lecturer. In the next step, students discuss their decision-making process with other students and modify the answers. And finally, these answers are reviewed by the lecturer and uh, he decides if the topic needs more explanation or if the next topic can be started. And I believe you've all heard about Khan Academy, founded in 2003 by Salman Khan, who was tutoring his cousin in mathematics over the internet and started to record videos for him. And now, apart from maths, you can find the resources covering areas such as history, biology, computing, but also English grammar or storytelling. But 
it was Bergman and Sams, two chemistry teachers from Woodland Park High uh, School in Colorado, who became the founding fathers of the concept of this inverted or flipped model. In 2007, they decided to record videos to improve their face-to-face uh, -face communication with their students. And if you have a moment, I would recommend uh, watching this short video in which uh, John Bergman is explaining what a flipped classroom is, and why it can be so powerful, and how to get started. <laughs> 